Good morning. Welcome to another 105 Minute Meals. This is actually Thanksgiving Day, but I'm not really doing anything for Thanksgiving today. I'm going to meet some friends at a restaurant later this afternoon. Uh, but I, I did think, well, I'll make a couple of side dishes uh, today that you might put together for a Thanksgiving meal. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a good guacamole and then with one secret ingredient, turn it into a great guacamole. So we're going to start with an avocado. I'm hoping this is a good one. It feels right. Oh, yeah, it's a beauty. So we're going to scoop out our avocado. This uh, beautiful ceramic dish is made by a very good friend of mine, friends of mine in uh, outside Albuquerque, New Mexico, in Placitas, New Mexico. They've been doing ceramics, pottery for decades. Okay, we're going to get our masher. Just mash up our avocado. I actually don't like avocado uh, guacamole that's been put in a blender. Um, it seems too soupy for me. And this is so easy. Okay. And we're going to add some chopped tomatoes, some chopped onions. I don't know if I'm going to put all of that in there. That looks about right. And we're going to mix that up. Going to add some lemon for a little bit of brightness. If I had some cilantro here, I might add cilantro. But, you know, the thing with cilantro is, is many people like it. And for some people, it tastes like soap. It's a genetic thing. Okay, so we're going to add some lemon and I'm going to add some Tabasco. If you like some heat, you could use cayenne pepper, you could use Cholulo, you know, anything that you like that adds heat. Okay, I'm going to stir this up. Uh, actually forgot to add a little salt, which will be helpful. Not a lot. And of course, if you're on a salt restricted diet, leave that part out. And now I'm going to add the secret ingredient that will turn your really good guacamole, that's pretty, that's beautiful, into a great guacamole, and that is some sweet orange. Mm. Have to eat the rest of that orange. When I'm done here. Okay, let me stir it all up. And let's uh, let's get a chip. One for the cameraman. One for me. Mm. Man, that is really a wonderful guacamole. You will wow your guests. Welcome to 5 Minute Meals. This is actually Thanksgiving Day. I'm not really doing a big Thanksgiving thing uh, today, but we are going to shoot a couple of quick videos. Um, this would be something that I might 
fix. If I had guests coming over as one of my side uh, dishes, I'm going to do a roasted broccoli. And we're also going to do some roasted sweet potatoes. Um, and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get some water boiling. We're going to add some salt. And then we're going to blanch our broccoli probably about eight to 10 minutes. I'll go ahead and put a cover on that. And I've got, we're gonna do it to, for nine minutes and it should be fine. We're gonna take that out, um, drain it, and then uh, we're going to get a mixing bowl. We're gonna add some olive oil, uh, I'm going to add a little maple syrup to this uh, and some uh, salt and some other, uh, some peppers. And uh, then we'll put it in a preheated oven at 475 degrees. You want your oven really hot for roasted vegetables. Okay, so continuing with our um, roasted vegetables, side dishes, which you could do for any dinner that you're having friends over for. I generally don't go to this much trouble when I'm eating for myself and I'm perfectly happy to eat vegetables that I haven't tarted up with a bunch of flavors. Uh, I like the flavors of the vegetables, but uh, when I'm having guests, uh, you know, I wanna do a side, uh, side dishes with whatever my main dish is, whether it's fish or chicken. And um, these are some great side dishes super tasty. Uh, so we uh, blanched our broccoli and drained it, our florets, put them in there. I'm going to drizzle a little olive oil over those. Okay, I'm, I'm going to add just a little bit of maple syrup to this. Then I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to add some garlic powder. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. And I'm going to just mix that up. And I'm gonna put them in this baking dish, which I have um, oiled with a little bit of avocado oil. I use olive oil for the, for the uh, florets because I want more flavor for these. But for the pan, I use a little avocado oil. Separate your florets. You don't want them touching up against each other. And that's why I'm using this larger baking dish. Okay, so. We're going to put those in the oven. I've got my oven at 475. You can do it between 400, 450, 475. I like the hot, you know, the higher heat. I want to really brown those uh, florets. And uh, I did the same thing. I blanched these sweet potatoes. We're going to do the same thing with them. Threw in a couple of garlic cloves there. We're going to drizzle the olive oil. We're going to add a little salt. Not too much because really don't have a lot of these. I'm going to add some garlic powder. I'm going to add some black pepper. Okay. I'm going to toss those around. them nicely coated with the oil and our spices that we've added for flavoring. I'm going to put this in a separate pan for two reasons. One, once again, I want to keep my pieces separated, but also the potatoes are going to need to stay in the oven longer than the broccoli. So Barely squeeze these in there. And I'll add this one here. Okay, so these are ready to go in. Um, well, that olive oil is quite good. 
My oven has been preheated. I'm going to send it in. I'm going to put in the sweet potatoes. And we'll give it a, about 20 minutes for the broccoli, probably about 30, 35 minutes for the potatoes. And we'll pull them out. We want our, 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 we want our vegetable, our roasted vegetables to be crispy. And uh, that's why we're using the high heat. Okay, um, these have been in actually a little bit longer because I think I need to get a new oven. I'm not sure that this is really heating to 475. Uh, and I switched over to the broiler uh, for the last four or five minutes. I'm going to pull these out and see if we're starting to get brown. Uh, and they're, they're certainly well cooked at this point and they're probably tasty. But let's see what we have here. Okay, come on in, please. Um, these are okay. Uh, we're starting to get that little bit of blackened uh, on, on these. I'm actually going to put them in for five more minutes. I really think there's something wrong with this oven. And obviously the sweet potatoes will have to stay in even longer. Let me turn this one so that it's, there we go. I'm going to put these in for five more minutes. Uh, now that I've got the broiler on, I think they're actually starting to uh, brown up. And I may have to go shopping for a new stove soon. Okay, so we added a little extra time under the broiler because I think my oven's not working so great. Uh, but it does look like they are ready now. And the sweet potatoes are also. Oh, yeah, these are perfect. So as you can see, these are brown. You get those little black and brown bits out on the end of the florets. And that's where you get that crunchy taste. A little hot, but delicious. Proud to serve this to anybody. I think I added a little too much salt to these. Some people might, some people might like that. I'd go a little less salty next time. The uh, sweet potatoes also nice and crispy, and they'll but they'll still have that soft center. I'm not going to try and eat this because they're really hot. And if you like this video and others from 105 Minute Meals, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the bell button so that you'll get notifications when we come out with new videos. Pura Vida from Costa Rica.